Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glister Elf, here with another handy little, uh, actually no, I say another, I've not done this on the channel before, uh, another online game, but this isn't MTGO, this isn't Magic Arena, this is a website called untap.in, and it's one of those nice little homebrew websites that lets you play your own games, you get to add cards into your deck from their database, and go for it. And uh, here we go. You see uh, T1 Glistener off private. That's a me. Now let me scooch on over to it. Join that game. Do 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 do. Perfecting skills are da 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 da. At least two games should be played. Cool. That is. Oh, best of three. So first two. Yeah. Let me enter the game. So I'm playing Frontier. Remember you were playing blah 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 blah, has created a game, has joined the game, blah 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 blah, has chosen their deck. I admit, I uh, have not done this <laughs> Frontier Construct Frenzy. It's Construct, so it's, uh, it's an artifact deck, uh, and it uses Experimental Frenzy. Uh, you too. Okay. Um... Where's my deck? Okay, so here you draw seven cards, right? Draw multiple. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oops. Draw multiple. Draw seven. There we go. Okay, cool. Hmm. Itchy nose. Not the time. Okay, now it's a little hard for me to actually see my cards. They're so tiny. Alright, but I see that I have three lands. Uh, scraps three. Three mana. Three mana. Four mana. Um, uh, oh, how do we decide who goes first? Now, I, I think that somewhere around here, there's supposed to be a, a card draw, or a, uh, a die. It does it automatically. Oh, oh, I missed that. It says it does it automatically. Uh, let's see. Game turn has been randomized. Uh, where does it, uh, you look at the middle bar, it says, oh, okay, 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 that's fair, Phoenix is, okay, so it's right over here, cool, that's a good, I'm learning, I'm learning, um, you know what, oh, I see, thank you. It would save a lot of time if I just abbreviated. And I'll try to do that. Um, I probably shouldn't keep, but I think that I'm, I'm going to on the draw. All right, keep. Cool. Good luck. Okay, so discarding a windswept heath into so tiny a stomping ground. Yeah, this is Frontier. Those are legal now. Alright, and it's tapped. Cool. So, how do I draw? You just... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for something lower curve. Seagate Wreckage, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. So this one's easy. We're going to put this in... No. Is there a way to put it in tapped? Hey, there we go. And now I pass by... Hitting that button. Cool. <laughs> cool, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Um, it's supposed to come in tapped, but this is a nice little way to... Like, he, he knows. He knows. He knows what's going on. Okay, so I see a 1-1. One, one, and um, next turn, I know his deck. Oh, that's another thing. I know his deck. Um, let me see if I can quickly pull his deck up. That's important. Just so we know. Let's see if it'll let me do that. Hello? Oh! <laughs> oh no! I opened multiple ones. Okay. So this way you all can see. This is his deck. And I may have to alt tab over to it just a bit. And we'll we'll see the name. There by Carrot King37. 
Okay, so it's my turn. I'm going to untap, draw. What did I draw? A walking ballista. I really don't want to use that yet. So, what we're probably going to do is run out the Seagate wreckage. I don't want to reveal the tomb yet. I don't want to show, hey, I look, look, I have this life gain. It's not that big a deal against this deck. It's not like it's a Tarka Red or something. But um, we're going to play out the Seagate. doesn't come in tapped. Hanger back, and that'll give me something to do against the Plague Bearer. Okay, now, uh, this is fun. Um, how do I put a counter? Add counter. And then make it one? Hey, there we go. Cool. Sorry I'm slow. I'm trying. I'm, I'm bad at this, but I'm trying. Okay. It, at least it's a good thing that I'm playing a fairly simple deck. A oh no 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 midnight reaper that's fine um, midnight reaper is going to come in it's attacking um, s one s one oh swing one okay oh. <laughs> Um, let's see, so if it dies, they'll lose a life and draw a card. Um, I don't think that's great. I don't think I want it, for one life, it's not worth it. Um, so, we'll, I guess, say, take it. And, uh, there we go. We right-click. That's how we, we make it go down. We right-click it. Alright, my turn. Now, there's gotta be, like, an untap function. How do, ooh, 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 that's not, that's not what I mean. How do I untap all? Um, actions, maybe. Oh, X. Oh, oh I, see, I see what's going on here. I see. Wait, here we go. So click out. X. Hey, got there. Bowman Courier, right on time. Right on time, buddy. So now we're going to play out the Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. Now, the the one counterpoint, I suppose, to doing it the way I did is what I could have done is uh, Hangerback Walker blocks, dies, this guy draws a card, which that in, in and of itself invalidates that line, um, but then Scrap Trawler can get Hangerback back. Um, if you're ever curious, there's a little keyboard symbol on the right side of your screen that has all the hotkeys on it. I see one on the left side of my screen. That's cool. Oh, C is draw a card from your deck. Oh. Thank you very much. Abbreviating. We're good at that. So I have drawn. It's the Bowman Courier. Played my land. Uh, it seems like... So if I want to try to speed out, I, I can do Inspector. If I play the Inspector, then even if I don't draw a land, I get a Walking Ballista. Um, but if I play the Inspector, I also get a free Bowman Courier out of this. And that's not so bad. Um, it would give me a Surprise Chief. Um, no matter what I do, uh, other than Ballista on one, I can't keep up mana for, walk, for uh, Hangerback Walker. So I think we're going to do an inspector. And all of that. And free. Um, other than that, we're not attacking with you, buddy. And I'm going to say past her. <laughs> the best cost. 
Yes, indeed. Well, I play Animar. I play Animar. <laughs> so, negative is good. Am I showing up on camera when I do that? Okay. Shoutouts to Psychonauts, by the way. <laughs> Shoutouts to Psychonauts, and shoutouts to uh, Chili Tea. It has uh, chili powder in it, and a little bit of caffeine. So, hopefully keep me awake through this. I really don't want to give my opponent any cards if I can help it. I really don't want to. If they get if they play aggressively. Oh, it's another way. Okay, another Seder Wayfinder. That's fine. I can live with that. Has revealed the top four. While while this is going on, I'm just gonna see. Uh. Huh. Well, in any case. <laughs> Alright, let me see what I'll hit. Because uh, th they play a deck where that matters. It is a rally deck, as evidenced by the three rallies in the yard. Alright, make that go away. Ooh, 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 not what I meant to do. No, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Accidental hotkey. How do I turn this off? I meant to say oof on the rallies. So I shuffle now. <laughs> I mean, sure, okay. Um, I didn't pay attention to what that was. I honestly don't even know if it was uh, in order. Like, I'll go back and watch the uh, the tape later. Alright, so X to untap everything. Draw, which I could have done with C. Okay, so we missed that land drop, so this is fine. The, uh, the walking ballista. You know, or I could play a Traxos. Oh, I could play Traxos here. I want to hold the Chief of the Foundry. Okay. I really want to. Really freaking want to. Um, and I don't want to take out the Tithe Taker. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so, let's see. I think it's alright. You know, there's a trick to this. I'm just going to play Traxos. I, I think that's right. So if I play the Walking Ballista, i got to ping now, and they'll draw cards. Or I can wait till it's uh, their turn, but then I can't because Ballista is being shut down by Tithe Taker. So I think the more aggro thing to do is to play Traxos here. Traxos is 4, but it's actually 3 because of Inspector. Um, even if I start taking a lot of attacks coming up, I think I'm going to be okay. Pretty sure I'm going to be okay. Yeah, so I'm passing. Oh boy, gotta mess up. <laughs> gotta keep messing it up. Let's not. Alright, well, there's mana, and uh, oh, well, they could have tapped the Windswept because of the Urborg. Uh, yeah, better to hold up... Oh, wow. Alright. Dat value. I'm not letting them get dat value, though. Alright, so obvious tomb is obvious. I'm gonna play that right here, right now. And I just came to the realization that my lands are in front, but whatever, who cares. I know people out there care. I don't. I don't get it. Oh, wait, 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 you're still tapped. Yeah, X is OP. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that, I'm going to have to actually watch out for that. Um, so I did, yeah, so you're still tapped, but like, like they said, not, not going to be the case for long. So that's seven. That, I can do a lot here. I can do a whole heck of a lot here. Um, I can do... I can do 
a chief into a walking ballista to just start taking things out. And with three rallies down, I think I'm not so worried about... So I don't want them to draw cards. I want to make an alpha strike. I can also hold up a land uh, and use that for Hangerback Walker getting bigger. Oh man, there's so many things I want to do here. Alright. No, I, I couldn't do Ballista on 2, it'd have to be on 1. Alright, so, um, I guess I'm gonna play Scrap. Oh, you know what? Um, I don't have enough for that anyway. Reef plus. Out of jail. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What I would like to do is I would like to attack with Traxos and then play the Ballista. I'm about to let them draw a whole bunch of cards though, if I'm not careful. A uh, Ballista can untap the Traxos to be used on defense. Um, how do I... Oop. Combat? Wait a minute, did I... Did I draw extra? I'm pretty sure that's not what I meant to do. Me. <sighs> Just new to this. Thought... That's why it came... Combat came out as at. <laughs> Jeez. I, 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 I just, I'm bad. Okay, well, um, I put it back. Uh, this is so bad. And I'm recording it, too, so people get to see how awful... Well, people also get to see I'm not meaning to do this, so, uh... Now I just have to figure out how I go to combat. Uh... Oh, there we go. Combat. Cool. Rar. Hey, bug. Okay. Um, damage. Yep. <laughs> Two Reaper triggers. Uh, now, one second. I gotta take this bug outside. Hey there, little buddy. On your way. Gonna go places. Gonna do big things. Okay, cool. Um, changed counter from 13 to 11. Oh, okay, okay, so we already took the 19 to 13, good. Um, now, after that, second main. Let's, uh, put a counter on you, buddy. So it doesn't untap, but I cast a Historic Spell. And then I will pass the turn. So that'll keep them from Alpha Striking. I'm a little less worried about doing this when they have three of their rallies already in the yard. Um, I'm, I'm building quite the field here, and I think I'm okay with that. 
Um, there is one downside to doing this. If I had thrown the ballista out just then, and that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. I should have shot something, Tithe Taker, with the ballista. Well, no, because then they draw two cards. Ooh. Nice. Yep. Now, um... Discard. There we go. Rip in pepperoni. Couldn't respond either. Okay. That's, uh... That's a little disconcerting. This will gain them some life, get them back in the game. Okay, so it's my turn. We're going to X, C, there we go. We did something. We did something. Um... This requires two and colorless and tap, so it requires four mana. So we won't be there until, like, dead at the end of the game. Um, I'm still at 19 life. One, two, uh, this guy. I'm assuming, I mean, I, you know, this is Frontier, so they're not going to do anything in response. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Come on now. Um, and I... I'm not sure. I think I want to leave mana up for Hangerback Walker. Uh, to be able to make an extra counter on it. Um, now, this is a 4-3. This is a 2-2. Two -two. This is a th four, ooh ooh. Hmm. You know, with four cards in hand, I wonder if it's correct to. I don't really have any way at this point to get rid of one of the reapers, um, but I wonder what the correct thing to do here is. I I kind of want to take out Tithe Taker to be honest, but without the using the Ballista to get rid of Tithe Taker gets rid of the reason I want to get rid of the Tithe Taker. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm taking way too long with this. Because I'm, I'm trying to explain in... I'm learning the system, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is a weird attack. This is a really weird attack. I don't want to lose my Inspector. We're going to wait. I don't want to give them more time. No, we're not. No, we're not. One, two, play it out. Play it out, Jay. We're gonna do an alpha strike next turn. I I know the deck list. Do you see any wraths in here? I do not see any wraths in there. Okay. Urborg, Windswept. I swear, if there's another... Ooh! Other creatures... Okay, you have your own lord. Alright, when everyone you control dies, deals one damage to any target. Uh, huh. Uh, how do I designate this one? Alright, now I have to make a token. How do I make a token? Uh, actually, no, no, that's not it. Um, insert token or card. W. Wait, wait, what? Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. So we just, we still get to hit it. W. Insert a card. Uh, 
What what what's the one on Hangerback Walker? It's a con. It's a Thopter. Thopter token. One one colorless or one one Thopter flying. I swear. Why is it not letting me do something? Is this not a thing? Oh oh wait wait wait. It has it has little shenanigans here. Okay, you're doing stuff. I, I'm trying to figure out this, first of all. You make a token, I lose two and draw, I get to ping something, and I drain you for one. Okay. That sounds about right. There's a Zula port that's doing the one. You lose one. I, I got that. What's the... Okay, from seven to eight, from the, the gain, that's right. And I'll just ping your face with Judith. Uh, okay, so that's another one. Okay, we, we finally somewhat figured it out. Okay, see, draw. <gasps> oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. You are so beautiful to me. Now, um... Just a darn minute. So, if I add another counter to Walking Ballista, I can spend two counters, kill Judith, they're going to draw a card. Well, wait a minute. Other than that, I, I don't have any sources of trample. I don't... Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute here. Wait a wait a darn minute. Wait a darn minute. <laughs> uh, how about? Uh, and I I could also just rest on my laurels here. Just gain life, gain life, gain life, gain life, gain life. Hmm. Yeah, I can play a chief and then just hold back. So one, two, play into play a counter, but then I don't have quite enough for this. Uh, huh. And, let's see. Uh, I could have used that if it were untapped on the Thopter, yeah. <sighs> I don't think the patient game is going to get me far because this is... There's a combo, and I don't want to see it. I really don't want to see it. Um... Judith is a little bit obnoxious if I'm if I'm being honest. That's that's tough to deal with. So if I put t another counter here for four mana and leave, I don't care what open, then I can get it get to ping Judith, kill Judith, and then I don't have to worry quite as much. So that's what we're doing. up the counter double ping Judith drain uh, so I lose one I draw one Judith Hits my face? Question mark. Oh, ping ballista. Oh, never mind. Okay, no, that's actually okay. That's okay. Um, it does unfortunately mean I don't get the hanger back back yet, but I will get it back because scrap trawler is a thing. Hmm. I think I want to wait actually. Oh, I think I want to... Well, no, I can I can just swing in the air. Um, combat? Question mark? Make sure that they're okay with it first. No response? Cool. Um, let's see. Go here. Two 
two in the air. Yep, already ahead of me. Okay, here goes nothing. I, I feel as if something really bad is about to happen to me. Probably because it is. <laughs> Hi, Judith. Hey again. <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, wait, that was just two. That's okay. That's two. We can live with two. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. We don't have any sack outlets out right now. I kind of want to be a little bit tanky, actually. So, hear me out. This may sound crazy, but hear me out. Oh, it's still their turn. Uh, I can, on my next swing three. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, hmm. 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 <laughs> if I take it, so I can block with a courier, get back a ballista. And that wouldn't be so bad. That's, that's what I think I'll do. Um, they wouldn't... Wait, they would. They would. It would die. Trade. Okay, so you're dead. Uh, trigger. Scrap. Trawler. There's got to be a... I know there's a better way to do this. I just don't know what it is. And then I reveal it, I guess. Oh, no, oh, crap! <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm just getting used to it. Okay. There we go. Got there. <laughs> Sorry about all of that. <laughs> I'm secretly, like, Canadian. I'm saying sorry way too much. That's okay. Okay, so now, don't worry about it. Untap everything, draw a card. <gasps> okay! Okay, um, holy crap. Uh, how did you get here? Oh, because you have afterlife. You, this thing has afterlife. When it dies, create a 1-1. One, one. Cool. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, hmm. Wait, did you? Okay, you did. You, you sacked one of your Reapers. Okay, so, um, I can swing two right now in the air. And walking ballista hit for three. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. This may sound crazy. That that is flying though, so actually that, that will block, but that converts two damage to one damage. If I swing out, they just lose, right? I mean, seriously, if I swing out here, don't they just lose the game? Because, so, hear me out, they can't let anything, they can't let more than one creature through it, right? Um, that's four, that's five, uh, three plus one plus one. Uh, that's two, but three. That's four. Like, they can't let much through, and if they block a creature, Midnight Reaper trigger. Like, don't I just win here if I swing out? 
Like, serious question. I, I actually think I do, don't I? Um, I'm not going to preemptive GG's because I've been wrong before. The alternative is um, Walking Ballista ping, or Walking Ballista on three, ping one, one life, one, one life, one, one life, not in that order. It's, we're going to do actually here and then here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a darn minute. And there's also Judith, so I do have to be worried about that. All right, decisions, decisions. Oh man, like, well, they're tapped out, so that's not what I'm worried about. Um, I have to look up a rule. <sighs> Wait a minute. No, the okay. A creature dies after combat damage is dealt. Right? Sounds simple, but I'm just making sure. Cutthroat is throwing me off. So what I'm worried about, I think this works the way that I, yeah, I believe so, yes. Okay, so Cutthroat won't come into play if the actual damage itself is enough to kill them. But they can stack their triggers. Okay, okay. They can stack their triggers such that they gain some life from the cutthroat and then Midnight Reaper happens. Okay. Wait a minute. There we go. Add a counter. I swear I'm not actually OCD. Um, now I would like to move to combat. Combat. Hiya. They can block. If they free, they won't forget to block. Fun Phoenix will not forget to block. Oh, uh, I should say swing four. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. Triggers everywhere. <laughs> you take three. Uh, I, I do, right? It's a cutthroat, cutthroat, Judith. Right? Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. All right, we got there. Yep. Okay. So that's fun. I think there's a case for stalling here. And by stalling, I mean using the Tomb of the Spirit Dragon to just gain a metric crap ton of life. I think that might have been the better decision here. I have a wall such that I don't think I can die next turn. Uh, oh, it is my turn. Okay, cool. Crap. Um, pass the turn? Got thrown off for a second. GG? Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three. Drain you for twelve. Got there. Uh, and to be to be fair, if not, then I would have. If I had held this up, it's minus two creatures. One, two, three, four, five. 
Uh, gain five. Okay. Uh, how do I scoop? Um, oh yeah, yeah, let's check this out. Um, I don't see a scoop function. Alright, let's try this, see if there's anything here. Uh... What is going on? I don't understand this. How do I scoop it up like you just did? Icon on the right. Uh, fifth from the top. Okay, so their right is my left. Looks kind of like a paintbrush. Okay, so cards that don't do anything. I actually really like the Blood Suns here. Even though they wouldn't have mattered in that game because I didn't see my red lands. Uh, the Blood Suns would shut off some of their land production because it'll shut off their fetch lands. Okay, so I, I do want Blood Sign. I think I can also make a case for having... Like, Warping Whale is weird. If we go back to the deck list, we see that Warping Whale exiles a lot. It doesn't counter any spells, however, these are both instants. Sorry, let me, let me let you see. Those are both instants. And making a dude just to randomly chump block may not be the greatest thing. Um... But I, I don't know the warping whales. Let's see if we can find some room. Let's see if we can find some room first. Yeah, what's what's bad in this matchup? Well, it's a creature heavy match, so Bromit Courier is probably bad. Um, they're gonna have a lot on the ground. Um and it's in alphabetical order, too. Traxos, on the other hand, is good at running through a bunch of damage. Uh, Karn? Karn did not show up, of course. Uh, but Karn would also give me a lot of, a lot of speed. Um, Experimental Frenzy. So they're gonna have a lot of value, and I... Experimental Frenzy is so good, though. But I'm taking the Couriers out, so I'm going to take the Frenzies out as well. No, I'm going to leave one Frenzy in. Take out one Karn. And that'll give me two Blood Suns. Sorcerer Spyglass isn't a creature. I, w I would like a creature. Uh, Warping Whale, X3. Two Phyrexian Revokers. And I'm going to take out the Burmic Couriers. Okay. Save deck for next game. Oh, and it just shuffled. Okay, cool. So this is weird. I will. Draw multiple, draw seven. That is a lot of lands. That's four, I can live. That is a high curve. So Ruins comes in tapped, that's fine. Nephalia Academy. Spire, so I have my color. I want to keep it, um, yeah, I'm going to keep it. Let's say keep. Here goes nothing. And it looks like F Fun Phoenix might be debating as well. Keep. Okay, cool. Put this in, tapped, and passed the turn. 
Yay fun. My turn. Cool. X. Draw a card. We are going to not reveal that we have our color yet. Also, it doesn't actually give us color yet because we don't have an artifact yet. Not this time. Not, not just yet. Uh, so, I think I'm going to play Nephalia. I also don't want to reveal... I don't want to reveal that I have the scavenger grounds because if they go for a rally, like I want to hold back that information as long as I can. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I couldn't have done it on that turn anyway. That's fine. So the warping whale there does not work because I can't cast it on the tithe taker yet. Well, there's another. Um, so we do want the Foundry Inspector to show up. And I, I, this is actually probably wrong. Um, I may want to get rid of it now, but it's not one of the essential combo pieces. And then I will pass. Like the, the meme icon for them, by the way. Shoutouts to that meme face. Yeah, uh, th we, we take it. I'm just going to... I'm taking the two damage from that. Um, there we go. Cool. Hmm. Oh, no. Rip in pepperoni. Rip in pepperoni. Okay, well, um, that's a thing. Right on time there, buddy. Now, these are both constructs. Now that you've done your job, I'm actually more worried about you. So, I'm going to play the scavenger grounds. If I do this, I lose a counter on Mimic. Oh, to expel. That's a, an odd way of putting it, but that works, I guess. Um, hmm. I lose that on the counter if I do it now. Is that still okay? Because next turn, I'll just dump all my mana into Scrap Trawler to make a 4-3, I guess. It's not ideal. We'll make it work, though. Oh. Uh, construct, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Like, I have the name of the deck... Or I have the, the tribe in the name of the deck, so... Let me let me actually see if there's a way I can... Add note. Oh, there we go. Add note. Construct. Cool. There we go. Uh, no, we're taking that. Because that's a 2-1. Oh, you again. Alright, draw. And that, of course, of course, of course. I, I just want to get this thing out just to be able to all right, so one from this, two, three, wait, untap that, and you, and you, uh, say, two counters. Add counter, 
Y dos. Hope this isn't too boring. I'm trying to keep it interesting. Sorry if I'm not. I'm trying. Um, now, if I play, if I get a land next turn, I can do Traxos and the Horror. Even if I don't, though, I have a 5-3 to play defense for a little while. So I think that's okay. Uh, we are not <laughs> going to combat with you, buddy. Uh, you know? No. No, we're not. I would like to get an extra counter on my Trampley Dude. It's a very technical term. Technical magic term. Trampley Dude. Oh, Hing of the Kill is spectating. Hi, Hing of the Kill! Hi, Hing! Alright. What's that? Godless Shrine. Taking the two? Oh, okay. Maybe not. Did you take... Oh, hello. Did you take damage from... I know it's not technically damage. Wait, wait, I can actually just look this up. Eight, 20 to 18 from Windswept? That, that is a, uh, a Windswept Heath. So, didn't fit. Oh, no, 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 no. Was that a uh, hedonist? Or wayfinder? Wayfinder? Okay. Oh, I see, I see. It was one of the ones that was. Okay, so I was, I was confused by this. That makes more sense. I see now. Ah. Okay. Cool. Well, that's a that's a decent sized board. When Anafenza attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on target tapped creature you control. Translation: I'm about to get hit for a bunch. If a creature would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. So that uh, that works on Scrap Trawler kind of decently. Okay. Well. Well. This is, this is fun. This is going to be real fun. I can leave Scrap Trawler as a 5-4 against Anafenza. And have Traxos come in as an 8-8 eight eight and just hope that that gets there. Like, th that's an 8-8. Eight eight. That's pretty decent. I can also get out Phyrexian Horror, name Revoker, it's a horror, name anything, and then Smuggler's Copter. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Either I get out an 8-8 and take a massive amount of damage here. I don't know how massive it is, actually. But I would be losing the, the scrap trawler. Mm. What's the more efficient usage of my mana? I get a 3-2 and a smuggler's copter, which is a 3-3. Man, this is going to hurt. Okay, so we're going to play you. Tapped. We're going to dump all of our mana into it. Get a counter from you and from you. Ruins and Mimic. And then we're going to say pass. Uh, 
Ooh, not again, buddy. Come on. All right, I'm taking some damage. All right, so knight is now a 3-2. What I'm worried about is a rally that can get back knight. This feels like a rally coming up. <laughs> this feels like I might be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> oh, no way! So, the reason I'm worried about blocking here, blocking Knight of Autumn, is that if Mimic blocks Autumn and it's a rally, then another, you know, they could come back with rally to get uh, Knight of Autumn. And if that happens, I'm in a lot of trouble. See, rally is going to exile that creature at the beginning of your next upkeep. Hmm. But that's a lot of damage to be taking here. We're going to do you, and you, okay. Damage, yep, okay, cool, okay, okay. Now, I wasn't getting any value out of Scrap Trawler, even if it weren't, because... Well, no, wait a minute. Yes, you can, because you can stack the death triggers from Scrap Trawler, such that... Um... Oh, there we go. That's it. That's Exile. Um, you can s stack the triggers such that um, the Scrap Trawler's trigger will get back the Mimic. Ooh, yep. I knew that was coming in. Let's see. So that should be like that. All right. I got there eventually. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, but that's not quite enough. But we're getting there. X2OP. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, that Siege Rhino is good. That Siege Rhino is really good. Um... In fact, because there's a Tithe Taker there, unfortunately, I'm not able to... Okay. No, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play this. Oh, dump all of it in. Add counter. We're going to call it three. Now you get to untap. So the tithe taker is, taker is awkward because I have to spend two counters to get rid of it ultimately. But if I use a counter to get rid of it now, then, even though there's still one power out, it frees up some of what I can do. Um, I think this is okay. Let me do this. Shake card. Yep. But at least it frees me up to do that later on. I would like to keep my 9-9 nine, nine trample back. Um, 
I think it's actually okay to swing though. Swing nine. <laughs> That's a little risky. Since I have these, I probably should have waited. I don't want... Oh my god! But I saw a rally coming sooner than later. Yep, okay, so that's fine, that's fine. Um, I, w I didn't get, I would not have gotten 9 damage. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you could have won. Yeah. You're not wrong, actually, so this is going to come in. Uh, oh, they're both dead! <laughs> okay, I'll wait, but... Uh, I'm if they're smart, and they are, yep, there we go, the, uh, response, never mind, tithe takers out, <laughs> I should have done that in response to rally, um, Should have gone in response to Rally was talking too much. Oops, exiled if it matters. Oh yeah, because uh, she's back. Okay, cool. There we go. No haste though. So I take seven or six. Yeah, no, it doesn't give him haste. No, no attacking. Draw. Um, so they're about to get exiled. I'm dead anyway but I'm paying for not responding to Rally. And to be fair, I don't think it's just talking to the camera. I think it's that I'm also focusing enough on the, the new UI to me. It's like with Magic Arena. Sometimes when you're new to it, you miss stuff like that. Didn't have the mana to use the scavenger, or yeah, the scavenger grounds. Um... Because if I had used that in response to Rally, I'd be facing two less damage. Couldn't spell exiling for some reason. Hmm. Then shake this. Yeah, yeah, you, you know where that's going. Um...
Ooh, ooh, crap. Stop that. <laughs> Hot keys are broken. <laughs> okay, so um, there's no point in pinging here. I can't win from this, so yeah, we're just going to let that die. Should I shuffle? <laughs> there we go. Alright. Oh, hi, Inoffenza. Lol. <laughs> Um, seems like a good game plan. <laughs> yeah, Blood Sun is nice when it shows up. Can confirm, yeah. Um, it's working for me, at least. Uh, how about exile your graveyard, then concede? <laughs> Good games. <laughs> You got me. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see. I need it. Apparently. Oh, they left! Oh, they left just in time! Okay, well, when you're watching this later, Fun Phoenix, thank you, shoutouts, and, um... I need some practice. I need a lot of practice. All right, so I'll, I'll deck tech myself in the description, and um, maybe I'll do a separate deck tech otherwise. But uh, this is this is Fun Phoenix's deck. As you can see, <laughs> as you can see, Frasca didn't show up. Uh, the idea is that you want to use Collected Company and Rally the Ancestors to assemble your combo. You're dumping a lot of stuff into the graveyard quickly with cards like Stitcher Supplier, Seder Wayfinder. Those are there for a reason, and then. Uh, excuse me, sorry, um, and Plague Crafter. Now, Nantuko Husk is... we saw what that did in game one. Uh, they're gonna sack a bunch of creatures, and with effects like um, Zulaport Cutthroat and Judith Scourge Diva, even if they don't ever actually get to attack, even if they can't attack for some reason, they're still gonna be dealing a ton of damage and gaining a lot of life in the process. Uh, now, for my deck, it is Construct Frenzy, and the Frenzy part is Experimental Frenzy. We didn't see Experimental Frenzy show up, and uh, that may not have made a difference, uh, but especially in the late game, it, it almost just reads you cannot lose, uh, because you just build so many cards so quickly. Um, it's, it's our collected company, I suppose. Uh, for this deck, except it also hits lands and doesn't let you play stuff from your hand. But by that point, you're probably near the end anyway. So that's uh, that's my that's my opponent's deck, and I like it. Uh, I was a little concerned for them at first, to be honest, only seeing 20 lands. But when you consider that it has four Seder Wayfinders to find more lands for you, it's not as bad as it might seem. As long as you have two, you're often okay. You know, Seder Wayfinder will show up in what it, you know, if you're on the draw, keep seven, it'll show up in about half your hands, right? Uh, or half your nine cards when you get to turn two, I should say. That's what I mean to say. Um, Knight of Autumn is really good in the match, but that's just a really good card for Frontier anyway. It, it's the Swiss Army Knife. It kind of does everything. Midnight Reaper is an inevitability engine that I thought might almost get me there. Almost. Didn't, though. Um, 
or rather, I thought, yeah, I, I thought that the life loss from it was actually going to, because this is not a May, they have to take it. Uh, I thought that was going to do it. Uh, Plague Crafter, I had Hangerback Walker as the tech against Plague Crafter, but it did not, it didn't do enough. It did something. It actually made it okay, uh, but it ended up not doing that much, unfortunately. So yeah, that's, uh, that's their deck, and stay tuned, I'll be playing some more of this. Cut dish, cut dish, cut dish out.